Ron Paul had a medical emergency while live streaming on YouTube. I want to show you this. Now, you know, I'm doing this honestly because it's educational. I did not know what a stroke looked like. And um, I think most people don't know what somebody having a stroke would look like. Now we know. So you're going to see this. I do have good news when we come back from the video. Is it has to be liquidated. We have to get rid of that. That's a burden. We have very worried. We can't buy it. We can't put it in. Is Dr. Paul? That was tough to watch. That was tough to watch. Um, he is okay. That's the update. So, good news, he's okay. Somebody made the point that if you're ever going to have something like this happen, you want it to be when you're with people, when you're around people, when you're in front of people. Because, you know, if it's not, then you're much more likely to pass away. But happened in this situation, people were able to get him immediate medical attention, and so as of right now, he's doing fine. Um, but isn't that terrifying? Every now and then you get a reminder of just how fragile everything is. You know, Ron Paul, he, he, God bless him, he's made it to age 176. Um, but when you look at everything that's happening with COVID, for example, 200,000 deaths, and it was just it, it all happens so fast and you see something like this you see you know some prominent celebrity deaths happening recently you just realize this is all it's all so fragile and we don't really take a a, a moment to kind of soak in what's happening right now and, and soak in just enjoy almost enjoy your existence i think people have a hard time just tapping into that mindset when they can be where they can be appreciative and have gratitude. We're always thinking from like one problem to the next problem to the next problem. It's very rarely like, hold on now, let me let me stop and smell the roses and really soak in some of the positive because yeah, you never know, man. You never know. To Ron, this was just another day. I'm gonna go do my live stream, gonna talk about, you know, libertarian stuff. And then this happens. It's like, whoa. So again, he's okay. Um, but that was very educational. Now you know if somebody acts like that around you at some point. They're having a stroke, and you need to get them immediate uh, medical attention for sure. You know, Ron Paul's an interesting character. I've talked about, I've talked about him and, and libertarians more broadly quite a bit on the show. There's a love-hate thing going on there. There's some very strong voices on some of the issues I care deeply about. Like, for example ending the wars. They're some of the best. I think they're way better than many Democrats on the whole thing of ending the wars. So, soft spot for libertarians in that regard. Soft spot for libertarians when it comes to legalization of drugs. Um, there are quite a few issues. Civil liberties. There's a bunch of issues where we overlap and where, you know, you're only going to get change working with libertarians. So there's quite, quite a few issues like that. But then, of course, you know, on virtually every economic issue, and that might not be an overstatement, <laughs> there's only a handful of economic issues where we agree, like, don't bail out Wall Street. Agreed, completely. Um, but, you know, on basic marketplace regulation, on single-payer health care, like, they totally are against us on that. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, that's where you, that's where you duke it out. That's where you disagree. That's where you argue. But yeah, it's interesting. I agree with them a lot, disagree with them a lot. But anyway, it does matter. I, I would never in a million years wish something like this, even on my worst enemy. So um, glad that Ron Paul's better. What a terrifying, terrifying situation. And now everybody knows what a stroke looks like. And I honestly do believe that that's very important information to have.